Professor Sir Isaac Newton uh, coming to you from the surface of Mars. Well, actually, uh, this is the Mars Yard at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratories, and I'm talking to one of the engineers here at JPL. Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Bobak Ferdosi. And uh, what do you do here, Bobak? I'm one of the flight directors for the Mars Science Lab Curiosity mission. Tell us about that flight. What does it take to get things from Earth millions of miles to another planet? Well, one, we have one of the largest rockets take us out of Earth's gravity and then kind of push us on our way to Mars. But along the way, we do a bunch of maneuvers to kind of aim right at the, the point we want to land on Mars. Much like a uh, quarterback is trying to throw a ball to a receiver, but the receiver is, you know, hundreds of millions of miles away. It's as if the quarterback was in Florida and the receiver was in California. Once it's landed there, what happens? Curiosity does a lot of things, and it's one, we have a, an amazing laser that can zap rocks from 20 feet away to understand like a little bit of the element of what's in that rock. Rock on! <laughs> uh, speaking of rock, is it true that the Curiosity can actually eat rocks from Mars? That's exactly right. So we actually drill these rocks and make it into a fine powdered sample. It basically can tell us what it would taste like and even smell like. As it told you, it tastes like chocolate or cheese. <laughs> Nothing like that Nothing yet. Nothing like that. I was always told that uh, that's the moon that's made of cheese. I never in my wildest dreams imagined that uh, these laws that I put together myself and <laughs> would ever be applied in this manner. It's absolutely incredible. And um, do you find that you use Newtonian laws all the time? Uh, all the time, yeah. Not even just at work, sometimes just to figure out how things work at home. Oh, well, <laughs> how do you like that? Uh, have you come up with any laws of your own? Uh, I'm afraid I haven't come up with any laws. <laughs> It'll happen, don't worry. Just <laughs> keep doing what you're doing. I'm sure something will come up. <laughs> Or down, in my case. Uh, you have a nickname, uh, Mohawk Guy. Huh? Yes. Well, this is just a particular type of haircut that I have. Oh, yes. A little different than your own. Yes, I, I believe my nickname was White Powdered Wig Guy. It's not <laughs> nearly as catchy. Um, I should try that, though, someday. Any advice you have? Uh, my advice is pick something you like doing and stick with it. It takes all types here, uh, even at even NASA, where you think maybe we're just you know aerospace engineers. I mean, we have all types of engineering, computer sciences. We have a very detailed mathematics for for navigation and But then we also have finance people because engineers are not very good at keeping track of dollars. We would just spend all the money and build everything cool. So we need people to help us there. We have people who you know whose job it is to communicate. We actually have an artist in residence here. His job is actually to come up with clever ways of showing how some of the science actually works. And I think that if you pick something you actually like, you can still work at NASA uh, and do, you know, be a part of this really crazy cool thing. But at the same time, you know, you're doing something that you really enjoy doing too. Bobak, you're a very busy man. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. It's been a wonderful pleasure to meet you. Uh, thank you, a pleasure. <laughs> Well, that's all the time we have today. I'd like to thank our very special guest. Good day, and I'll see you in class. <laughs>